Ma! Today is sheep shearing day. We have never sheared sheep before, but um, we're not gonna be able to talk because of how loud they are. <laughs> um, <laughs> we've never sheared sheep before. This is our first time, which is why it's taken us so long. They look so scraggly. It's like all falling off of them because it's been so long. Like the people we got them from shear at the end of February and it's been more than a year since they've been sheared now because it is the end of April. It is time. Uh, Megan and I are going to attempt this with potentially Josiah's help because we may need help holding them. Um, it's a little daunting because like, I watched a million videos and read articles online. And it's like this whole very precise process and you can't do this and you can't do this. And I think... I just need to get the wool off of their bodies. And I do want to use it for fiber arts. I want to make it into yarn. I have a spinning wheel and I want to at least crochet with it. If not, do some weaving, learn to weave, but we'll see how that all happens. At this point, I just need them to be clean so that they can start growing next year's wool. We'll see if we can't get this done. It's been raining, so it's kind of muddy and mucky. Megan's getting a tarp to lay down um, so that we can feel like they're a little cleaner and also so when we're on our knees down you know we're not gonna be able to stand up and do it like the professionals but we'll see how it works out okay so i turned on the shears our friend lent us and um they're really scary and i don't want to do it um I don't know here. Oh, you're holding a sheep. I was gonna say, video me doing this. <laughs> um, this is really intense and scary. And it scares the sheep and I, I don't wanna do it. Like, I'm thinking, can we just cut it with scissors or something? I don't know. You wanna try and get him, you wanna flip him? him? Sit on his bum. You've not done it before. So you're, you're gonna have to practice. To put your knee behind him. Yeah, I always think there's a lot more wool underneath because it hangs down on the sides, but right. well, it's really... Right, on his stomach there's not really much, so yeah. it should be easy to do should that. Be easier. I mean, not easy because then there's folds of skin in your foot. Okay, so this is much harder than I thought, and uh, it's much patchier than I thought I would do, uh, but we're, we're getting it done. We may not do more than one a day at this point, but we'll see. Lunch. So, what are your impressions? I don't ever want to do that ever don't again ever in your life. Again. Yeah, it was horrible. You and only I have to do it really bad a lot of times. Like I thought I only got him twice, no. but then when I, after we looked, now it's got a lot of cuts. No. I've really bad. I don't. I don't want to do the rest of them because I don't want to do it. I don't want to hurt them. No. I feel awful that I hurt him. What do they say about shearing sheep? You're gonna cut them. You're gonna Especially cut. your first time. I just feel bad. He's got a cut. It's pretty superficial, but and there's no real blood, but it's, it's yeah, it's a, it's a cut. It's big. <laughs> hey skinny. This poor guy doesn't even have any horns. 
<laughs> they don't recognize him. They're like nothing. To, I mean, right, right now he looks a little sissy-ish. <laughs> he looks like a sissy, and everybody's like running away from him. Like, who are you? <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah. I'm going out to milk this morning. This is our road project. Um, it started raining and snowing and raining and it's too muddy to get the equipment in here to finish building the road. The road's going to go out to the hillside where our house build is, but we have a new goat barn up here and with all the rain, the cow pen is just a mucky, gross mess. I mean, it always is all winter, but right now it's particularly bad. And they just hang out by the gate, which makes it worse. So I moved them out here on the hill by the goats. And I was kind of letting them free range, but they keep ending up at the neighbor's house. So, and they don't want to come home from there. So I'm going to have to keep them in the electric line, I think. But we're going to try milking out here on the hill. I have, so let me get over here and show you. Good morning, goaties. So here are the cows in the electric line. There's this old post right here from the, um, oh, we had the sheep up here last summer when we first got them, but put a little pen up here. Well, this post is still on the ground, so I'm going to try milking her at the post. Now, when I milk her tied up over by the cow paddock, I put her up against the fence. I might have to put her up against the goat fence instead, because I'm not sure. I think she'll move around the post, <laughs> but um, I'm going to give it a shot. Okay, something's going on this morning. Um, Poppy keeps trying to mount Beulah, and Beulah keeps moving around. And then she was kind of chasing me a little bit. Like, she was trying to mount me. Uh, Beulah was. And But then Beulah kept nosing Poppy like she was pushing her behind her and then licking Poppy's rump. And I don't know what's going on. It's like all the animals went crazy this morning or something. Um, you know what I did forget was to bring a bucket out here to sit on. Um, I don't think Beulah's going to stand still, especially as crazy as they're being. Now, I did expect this morning to be rough because, uh, because they're in a new place, you know. Um, we moved them out of the... They're used to coming into the cow pasture at night and... Um, let's see, this is probably going to be muddy. It is. Ugh, I have to sit on it anyway. So I'll have another one. Um, they're used to coming to the cow pasture at night. And then we milk them in the morning. I'd take, you know, Beulah right outside the gate and milk her. Just wipe off the mud as much as possible on the grass. I really don't want to sit on it all muddy. <laughs> okay. The other problem I'm having right now is I forgot the tripod and I don't want to walk all the way back and get it so that I can set this up for you guys to watch me milk. Um, this is, <sighs> I don't know. I need to figure out how to set it up, but I know it's going to be rough. They're not used to this routine yet, so I just really want this bucket not to be dirty. But they're also being weird, so I don't really know what that's about. Now at this point, I have spent 15 minutes trying to figure out how to set the camera up. You still can't see me because of this branch. <laughs> but you'll get the gist of what's going on. And you can hear, Poppy is making this really low moo, which is what they do to calves, which I think is weird. Well, that didn't go as bad as I expected. She only moved maybe twice and uh, wasn't too far. So that's good. Now we're gonna move them because they do keep getting away every day and not coming back. Um, I'm just gonna move the paddock over. See if we can't keep them in. 